being consistent took me from noob to unreal and I made a video to make it easy for you to achieve the top rank with consistency. I'm going to show you how to clutch the end game, master positioning, destroy vehicle invaders and smash snipers all in a few minutes. Watch till the end to see the victory out which took me to unreal. Like and subscribe for more content on mastering Fortnite. For the first tip, the third parties. If you play solo zero build, you probably already know this, but you will get third parties. You're just, it's just going to happen. People love joining into fights, you know, interrupting fights. Whenever you're in a fight, you want to make sure that you're not in open. I know in this clip I wasn't open, but I had no choice. The car was low on fuel. But if you have no choice, I do understand. Take that fight. And if you win, make sure to escape as soon as possible. Loot quickly and escape as soon as possible. That's always the first thing you need to have in your mind as soon as you finish a fight. Especially when you're playing zero build solos. You will get third party. You don't want to lose as soon as you get that W kill. You know what I mean? So make sure you quickly loot up. Get what you need. Take what you want. And then get the hell out of there. The next tip I have for you guys is vehicles. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to use vehicles as much as you can they are really really helpful in the new season and the best one is the suv the reason is it's got the most health it's got the most cover and it's the most efficient in every way like it's not as fast as the sports car but cover is more important in zero build and how you want to use the vehicle is when you get out deal as much damage as you can and when you feel like you're about to hit get hit or someone's about to shoot you get back in the car continue driving and it's really good for end game as well because as most of you know you're not going to get much cover in end game when it comes to zero build but if you have a vehicle with you it's like having a port or bunker but it's mobile you know what i mean so vehicles are really important this season another good advice i would give with the vehicles is to snipe with them what you want to do is a strategy that i like to use where if someone's trying to spray down your vehicle and trying to destroy your vehicle get your sniper ready and then when you're out of the vehicle use the sniper try and get a quick head scope you can get some really good damage in that time you're out of the vehicle up next we have the landing you want to land somewhere where no one's going to land and there's a lot of loot because when it comes to ranked placement is so much more important than kills and kills are worth more later in the game anyway so the best thing to do when you land i know it's tempting to land in a busy spot try and get as many kills as possible but even if you get like five kills at the beginning of the game it's not gonna be worth much so you might as well land somewhere that's quiet you can get some decent loot and get even better loot after you set off to another place also another thing is as i mentioned earlier third partying you're probably gonna get third partied if you land in a busy place anyway even if you get like three kills you're probably just gonna end up getting third partied and that's it your game is gone you know so you want to pick one one landing location familiarize yourself with it know everything about that place and master it once you've done that i promise you you're going to get a lot more wins your beginning game will be a lot easier next up we have choosing your fights wisely in zero build I promise you aiming is important your gun skills are important but do you know what's even more important your positioning and playing smart you have to play smart if you want to get those w's know when to commit to a fight and know when to back out from a fight if someone gets that health advantage over you the first instinct you're going to want to have is run away heal up and then get back to the fight sometimes people are just gonna sneak up on you people will get their first shot on you and in zero board you have that rechargeable shield which you can't heal up you just have to wait over time for that to come back so usually the person that gets the first shot they're at a really big advantage because you can't get back that shield so make sure to choose your fights wisely and commit only if you're sure you're gonna get that kill there's no need to rush if there's that risk of you dying they can pull up a fast one and you never know they can get a quick snipe on you etc next up we have weapon organization now for this tip what you want to do is make sure you have a preset in your mind of what weapons and what items you want to carry during the game also when it comes to shotguns make sure you use the auto shotgun not the pump the pump is trash when it comes to zero build and i promise you you're gonna have a really hard time getting that dub when if you're using the pump also snipers is a must you must have snipers if you want to get them dubs they're really really op this season and it's so strong the snipers as long as you have the auto shotgun sniper everything else is up to preference and ar as well make sure you have a mobility item and the last item you can have whatever you like whether it's healing or whatever you prefer next up we have the right side advantage now i know a lot of you may already know but to those of you who don't your crosshair is on the right side of your character so you always 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 want to try and get that use that to your advantage and peek from the right side of your cover doing this you'll very likely get the first shot off and you'll be advantaged in, in terms of positioning more of your character will be hidden as you're pulling your shots off by doing this you're increasing your chance a lot more of killing your opponent and it will help you in the long term when it comes to 1v1s and fighting others now this is a bonus tip to you riot shield users out there i really love using riot shields when it comes to gaming i have so much fun confusing my opponents and <laughs> i've always been amazing with riot shields 
if you take a look at my old warzone videos you'll see uh riot shields are always my thing so with the riot shield what you want to do is get as much damage as you can with the clip you have in that pistol and once you finish that clip quickly switch to a shotgun or an ar depending on your distance from your opponent and get that damage in to finish them off use it to confuse your opponent more than actually using it itself if that makes sense because people are not going to expect you to switch weapons they're just going to expect you to keep using it they're going to try and get that stun effect on you don't let them get that stun effect before you get stunned using the riot shield you want to quickly switch to either your shotgun ar get that quick killing and there you got that w for the final tip we have positioning and cover this is the most important part of fortnite when it comes to end game you need to get cover and you need to be in a good position if you want to get that w i'm telling you no matter how good you are at aiming or shooting at gun skills or whatever if you're not in a good position or good cover you're probably not going to get that w so my plan was in this clip as you could see this guy had a really good position on me i needed to go circle there were three people left one was on my left one was on my right i was literally in a sandwich so what i did was i waited for the person on my left to go to the circle he had to i was in front of the circle before him and as soon as he went and they were distracted fighting i took that high ground when they were done i would go straight in for the kill and boom this was actually the win that got me to unreal and we got two wins in a row this was absolutely amazing you can see here that this was literally the tip that got me to unreal we got that dub for the one percent we needed you can also get unreal if you follow the tips that i've mentioned in this video thank you for watching like and subscribe for more content like this